Welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to walk through my process of creating digital papers. And this can be done in Affinity Designer. I've tried it in the iPad app and it's a little wonky, so it's still better to do it on the desktop for now until they work through the bug that I think they're having with the app. So to get started, go ahead and create a new document. I have the type as print. I'm doing mine in inches. I'm also doing it in CMYK. The size that is typically the most common is 12 inches by 12 inches. I'm also doing a 300 DPI in case this is getting printed at a place like Shutterfly or something like that. And click OK. Grab the rectangle tool create a rectangle over your artboard or document. Just make sure that it is completely covered. And in this case, if you wanted to create a page with any motifs or photos, go ahead and do that. But if you're wanting like a pattern background, this is the best way of doing it in Affinity Designer. So go over to the left side, grab the fill tool, go up to the top, change the type to bitmap. It automatically tries to open up the last place that you're at. I did save my pattern on to my desktop. And a quick note before going over the bitmap settings, if you are not sure how to create patterns, I have tons of videos on both the desktop and iPad versions and I will leave links up below. There should be like a little eye in the top right corner. So after you have selected your pattern, you can grab either of these, you can move them around, rotate it, and as you can see, the aspect is not staying as it should. So I'm just going to click Command Z to take a step back. If you go back up to the top, you will see a lock. If you click that, it just locks in the aspect. So now when you move it, you can see that it is scaling as it should, and you can rotate. You can enlarge. You'll lose some of the details in the pattern and things will get stretched out looking. So now you have your digital paper ready to go. If you go to File and Export, for these, I like to save them as a JPEG, and you will see that it has converted to pixels, which is fine. I do JPEG at the best quality, so 100%, and then just click Export, and you can save these. These are great to use either for yourself, or you can upload them to places like Creative Market and sell digital paper packs. So I hope you enjoyed the video, and as always, don't forget to hit like and subscribe. Thanks, guys. Thank you.